a resource pool is a way in Microsoft Project to share, say, your staff and materials across multiple projects and still have the functionality to level them across those multiple projects. First thing we need to do is create a new file and put in some resources. So let's go File New Blank Project and I'll save this blank project and call it uh, 29 resource, uh, 29 staff I'll call it. Now I'm not going to enter any, star, any tasks in this particular file. What I'm going to do is go to the resource tab, resource sheet and enter my employee in here. So let's say I've got here Tom Smith and we'll pay him $50 an hour. So I won't enter any others, it's, we can just work with one, that's all we need to demonstrate this concept. So we could of course enter hundreds of, of um, work resources and materials. Now let's hit save again and I'll close that file, 29 staff. Now what I need to do, if I want to say down in this project, I'll, uh, which was the resource pool one, the house, let's say I want to assign Tom to do the carpet in the bedroom. If I go to resource tab, assign resources, you'll see that Tom's not in there. What I need to do is first of all open the file because I've closed it, so I'll reopen it through open and we called it 29 staff. Go back. Okay, so with the file open I can now go to resource tab, resource pool share resources and I then choose here use resources from 29 staff which was the, the project file that's got Tom in it. Now what's happened if we look at my resource sheet view we'll see Tom's in here. So if I go back to the task uh, say Gantt chart view go down to carpet in bedroom one, assign, scroll down to Tom, you'll see now that I can assign Tom to a task. All right, so what I've managed to do there is use that resource pool and assign a resource to a task. Now that resource, that task is on the 28th of November. Let's complicate the issue. If I create a new project and I'll call this house 2. Let's say I've got a task build wall two weeks. Now we'll set this to automatic same as down the bottom automatically scheduled and then I'm going to have another task build roof and let oh, build roof let's say that that's going to fix the spelling there that's going to take one week. Link the two together. Task tab link. Okay, I've got this this long task. There's no resource Tom to assign. So we go to resource tab. We need to connect to the pool. So res share resources. Use resources from 29 staff. Select the tasks. Now that we've assigned assign him, Tom. let's go and look at the dates. Now at the moment we've got him starting this task on the 14th of August. Let's change that by setting in a constraint here. Let's change that to say the 5th of November. Now if we go and look at the other project file, so I'll just take us back to the resource pool and we had this one on the 28th of November so just take us back to um, the house. So we'll push that to later in November. Let's say the 26th. There we go. What, what, what I was looking for there, you, and we'll just scroll over so we can see the task for Tom, is this over allocation. Because we've got him building the wall here in house 2 and back in the other project file we've also got him doing a room. Now if I go level all, uh, resource tab, level all, notice here that the software said okay on the 29th he needs to come off 
that uh, this job, go and work on the other job, then come back. All right, so the software's leveled it for us. Uh, if you don't want splits in a task, you can go to leveling options and this leveling can create splits. What that means, just go to level all, is you see it's delayed the task now, so that may not be a good idea. So I'll put the tick back. What it has the implication of doing is if Tom had to set up tools or fly somewhere to a site, you wouldn't want him working on this site for three days, flying somewhere else for a day, then flying back for a day. It just wouldn't most likely be economical. So um, that's why you turn the splits on or off.